settled. <laughs> Hopefully I don't fall in. Are you sore? <laughs> yes, I'm very sore. Hi everyone, I'm Carolyn. I'm Garrett. And we are Diary of a Family. And we are doing laundry. So normally we do a live stream Sunday night. Yep. Um, we decided that we were going to spend the extra time um, managing our children and our laundry and um, spending one last evening and meal with our good friends uh, Matt and Christy Bialco from our 18 summers. They yep. are leaving in the morning. So I was able to uh, um, con Matt into going on a Tough matter with me. Con too. Con. Um, he had probably one of the best wipeouts um, of anybody on the course, probably this year. <laughs> but he enjoyed it thoroughly. He enjoyed it, and we're actually looking at possibly trying to get a full-time families rally team together. Whoop, whoop. We'll try and see if we can coordinate it with a Tough Mudder event. Yeah. Um, hopefully that will be something that we can pull together. We really enjoyed it. I've done it uh, five times, and this was Matt's first time. I really enjoy taking people who haven't done it before <laughs> and dragging them with me. It's very true. Um, um, last year we had Andrew and Casey, who they've never done it, and so I actually didn't know. I take that back. Andrew, there was four of them that hadn't Casey. done it before. Yeah, you had a big Sean team last year. and Kristen. We had a big, yeah, we had team, a big last team. year. Me and Philip were the only ones that actually went. Yeah. Um, and they've done it multiple times. And Philip decided not to do it again this year, so he ran three years for, with me and uh, couldn't get him to do a, a fourth year. But So, five years now for you. Five years now for me. And I'm hoping to make it to the, the Black Headband, which is 10. Oh, ten times. Ten, ten times, times you get a black headband. I am at five, so I have two yellow bands. And these are what I wore for the uh, <laughs> running. Can you show them your underwear? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Uh, I'm just folding. Happen to be folding them. So, anyways, uh, we didn't get a whole lot of footage, but uh, once uh, Matt uh, creates his video... We'll link it up here, somewhere up, up mm -hmm. top. We'll link their video to ours so that you can watch our kind of adventure through the Tough Mudder. And I got a, I got a shirt and a ja jacket so I can throw away some of my old clothes that are starting to fall apart. He's really hard on clothes. Yes. So this video isn't going to be completely about Tough Mudder. No. <laughs> That's kind of where it just started out. But... Uh, it was a busy week for us, we, busy weekend as we well. We were in Enumclaw until Friday, yep. and then we hurriedly packed up and headed back to the Covington area in Washington. Um, we are at Lake Sawyer RV Resort. Yep. And we're here we are, for till Friday. We're here till Friday, so a whole week. Um, as soon as we got parked and level and slides out, I was feeding the kids and throwing them into the truck. Yep. Um, Garrett's grandparent, grandma passed um, a couple of weekends ago, yep. and so I headed with the kids out for her um, funeral while Garrett stayed for the Tough Mudder, because yep. he'd already signed up for that and was destined to go. Yeah, and Matt had signed up as well, and so yeah. they're just kind of getting everybody together kind of yeah. was better that way. So I spent... I spent um, just Friday evening and through to Saturday evening in Portland with his side of the family and mm -hmm. then headed the kids on back here a couple of really late nights which ended up making the kids very cranky. <laughs> yep. Um, Tried to have a low-key day today but it was did. still... We did. I ended up having to put um, one of the three who shall remain nameless into a basically an all-day timeout. The child was not allowed to interact with other children <laughs> and was not allowed to go outside and ride uh, this child's bike. 
Yep. Um, and through most of that, I was at church. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's okay. Life happens. I just yep. didn't want to be hit or screamed at anymore. So. Yep. We're trying to f figure out how to deal with a child that is. It's the change, I think, and yeah. I mean, any of you who have young kids and you've done this move to um, being full-time, being nomads, um, and have experienced children acting out, it'd be great to hear from you and find out what you did to help them feel a little bit more comfortable. Yep. I think that part of it, too, was the fact that he was, oops, I let it out. Um, this well, child, we have two keys. This child, so. who will remain nameless... Um, was just very tired from a couple of very late nights yep. um, being gone all weekend. And this child is the one that wants to get up at 7 a.m. on the dot no matter what, which it's kind of like me. I always, yeah. when I'm in a routine, I will sleep. I will get up before my alarm goes off by like five minutes. I don't know how. How? How? I don't know. My body clock. I have a weird body clock that just... Just does it. Just does it. Well, other than that, um, you got a drone. I have a drone, and we'll throw a few shots in here. You want to tell everyone what kind of drone it is? So we got a Mavic Pro Platinum drone. It is a. It's not the newest drone. The drone. The newest one is the Mavic Two. Um, but it's the same drone that Jason Cumberford who shot some really cool footage for us a couple weeks ago. Shout out to Jason, Jason Comerford uh, Photography. Yep. And so I really enjoyed that drone. Uh, a lot of the features I really liked. And the, I think the reason why I decided it was worth the investment to go a little bit more of an expensive drone is the reliability of the, the drone itself. And you're going to put together an unboxing video, correct? Yes, I've, I'm working on an unboxing video right now. I've, I have that footage in my computer. I just have to get it edited down. So now that I have drone footage, and honestly, I, I think I've been able to catch on pretty quick to how drone footage works. But I guess, what? Yes, you have. Okay. I was hearing you say something back there. And was like, I was mouthing something to the camera <laughs> and to all of our wonderful viewers. He has. Yeah. He loves his baby drone. He painted it. I did. Ghastly colors. It's not black anymore. It's green and yellow. But it should make it easier to find. And if for some reason it gets stolen or somebody finds it somewhere, it will be unmistakably marked... Unmistakably marked. You Unmistakably hang, marked. You hang this sweatshirt. Yes. Okay. Um, I was hanging that one over there. So. It's behind you. Okay. <laughs> yes. So, um, the the only real reason I a lot of besides the identification purposes uh, is that's something like Casey Neistat. If you've ever watched any of his footage and videos, oh, he yeah. marks up everything that he has as well, so that. We can link his channel below. Yes. <laughs> he doesn't need our boost. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He has over 10 million subscribers, <laughs> so he's fine. Um, and if you haven't heard of him, just... Check him out. He's really fun. Search Casey on YouTube, and he'll probably be the first thing that pops up. He marks all of his items, his drones, his cameras, and all that, so that every anybody finds it or tries to steal it. It's very easy for him to track it down. So, and it seems to work. So, I figured, why not try it um, and see where it goes from there. Yeah. Uh, Thursday, we went to our state fair. That was a lot of fun. Yep. Do a little bit of a video right here. And uh, we got I probably have... more footage than we needed. <laughs> I have quite a lot of footage to sift through, and I'm gonna put that one together because that's kind of right up my alley putting a little story together and you'll see some fun things that we did including mutton Mut busting both emma and timmy did mutton busting did mutton year. busting if you so. saw our instagram and uh, facebook posts what mutton busting is mm -hmm. um so they put a child who is between the ages of four and seven on the back of a woolly sheep 
and they award the child who has stayed on the sheep the longest yep. um, with, for, a prize. with a prize. And it's this big thing, and last year Emma did it, and she won first prize in her heat. Yep. And was invited back on the last day of the fair to run again, and then she got cold feet and didn't ride again. Yep. So we wanted her to get back on the sheep um, this year, which she did, and she she rode, didn't win a prize. <laughs> but honestly, the prize was a kid couch. Right, we don't need a kid <laughs> couch. We're in an RV. <laughs> where would we put a kid couch? <laughs> Um, and where would we put the seven foot trophy they give a three and a half foot kid? Uh, Timothy did want to try this year and he was old enough to try and yeah. he got all gowned up and all geared up and then got cold feet. So he got to chase the sheep around. Yep. Um, <laughs> I mean, he was... probably got more attention than anybody else there. He had a lot of fun, I think, yes. so. Anyway, that video is to come. I don't know how quickly I'll get through it. I go back to work tomorrow. Yep. And, yeah. But so is the life of a working parent. Yeah. It, yeah. It'd be nice to try and figure out how to slow life down a little bit. And we'll, we're figuring things out, but it's also we're still in kind of a transition. So we are full-time, but we have to stay in the area so that I can commute to work. I work full-time for a hospital in the area. Yep. And my job is definitely uh, Monday through Friday. Not necessarily 8 to 5, but um, kind of stuck where I do have to yeah. be there. So now we can talk about um, what we're doing this week. So most of the week it's pretty mundane. I mean, it's the usual. I'm working. Working, Kids school work, school. errands, yep. the kind of the day to day stuff. And then on Friday, I turn another year older. Whoop, whoop. Happy birthday to yeah, you. Something like that. <laughs> and so, we, since we have a Thousand Trails membership, courtesy of said home we're living in we, <laughs> so not the home the home but the, we the the rv dealership that we bought this from gave us a year-long membership to thousand trails yes so on friday which is my birthday we are driving to leavenworth yes with our trailer for two days if you have never been to washington and are planning to come here go to leavenworth go to leavenworth um if you've got great tires on your truck for winter time try to do it in the winter time yep. we haven't been there in the winter time but we've been there in the summertime it's just as fabulous that it's this cute little town that is all bavarian themed i you mean feel, you feel like you're in the alps multiple um little restaurants that serve authentic bavarian type sausages we would put footage um we put we put footage here if we had footage but we don't so, of our of our honeymoon <laughs> our honeymoon so we spent our honeymoon in um leavenworth and then we went back for a day trip with our newborn <laughs> yep. for our first anniversary um, yeah. and so we're excited to take all the kids back and experience the nutcracker museum they have an entire museum filled with nutcrackers yeah <laughs> from the little itty bittiest the to kids are going to want to spend hundreds of dollars there most likely and we're going to be like, you get to pick one thing <laughs> only. Anyway, it's going to be an absolute blast, and we're really excited about it. And yep. we're excited that there's an RV park up there, and it's open 24, like it's open year-round, Yeah, right? 24 months a year it's open. 24 months a year. <laughs> <laughs> I Sorry. was going to say 24-7, but that doesn't work. It's well, open okay. It's open year-round. Yes. Um, and so if you have a 1,000 trails, trails membership... membership. Uh, good yeah good it, deal to stay right there in yeah the it didn't cost us a thing with the membership we have so okay. that's awesome. big plus for that so <clears throat> yeah so we have a big week coming up and we definitely want to try and figure out our routine 
Right. We've only been through a week of hardcore schooling, and yeah. it was cut short with me taking the kids Friday to Grandma's house and yeah. Thursday going to the fair, but the fair was a field trip. Well, then also getting on a schedule with our videos as well, because yes. we have lots of footage and we have lots of video that we can put together, but we haven't come up with a set schedule yet. And I know a lot of people like knowing when somebody would be on, when, you know, things will be happening. It's just so hard when you have littles and a changing schedule and things come up, but we yep. do need to be on more of a routine. Yeah. So, so we, we will, will work look, on that. look forward to a normal schedule coming up sometime in the future. <laughs> Can't promise exactly when that will be, but... And I, we promise we're not procrastinators. No. Uh, so we're not going to be, you know, procrastinators unite tomorrow. <laughs> type of thing <laughs> um, but we are still having to figure out what's a few things and us. how it's going to yeah. work because I mean we like having our kids involved um, with a lot of the things we do but then there are times where they kind of become more of a distraction well that and whether or not they have the time and energy and just the focus to be able to work through something and children at this age fall apart at the drop of a hat yep which we have seen a lot this week Ugh, um gosh and so we yes. just don't want to subject them to having to do this that it, we want it to be fun for them yeah and a lot of more probably more of our videos that will include them will be fun things that we're going to do with them adventures yeah. and things like that we'll have so so we're working on a good way of Balancing. Managing, balancing. Yeah. Anyway, we have one subscriber this week, so if it's you, congratulations for joining <laughs> us. Thank you for joining us and following us on this little journey, reading yeah. through our diary as we as we write this new chapter of our lives. Yeah, um, so far it's been a good chapter. Yeah. Definitely nice to end some of the, you know, chapters that were a little bit harder. Do it to one that's not as difficult, at least... We're still learning and growing learning. and getting through some difficult, interesting times. Um, so we're at 160 subscribers. Yay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Only 40 more and we'll be at 200. And that that has just really like, we're blown away at how quickly that's happened. Um, yeah. We sat at below 60 for... For, a year for long yeah <laughs> i mean we were like begging family and friends squirrel all, unicorns all and of peanut those. butter they're all, all over them. yeah well we have definitely gotten through this pile of laundry as we talked to you thank you for joining us as we did a little bit of laundry and yep. had a little chat with you um if you like this video give it a thumbs up like and subscribe <laughs> share us with your friends yep and definitely look for us on the road if you're in the washington area Washington State that is. We'd love to meet you. Yeah, send us a message and we'll see if we can't end up um, finding a time and a place to meet up. Yeah. We've enjoyed meeting new people on the road. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. Bye.